Hi everybody. So let's get started. I hope you watched the video about how hot air balloons work because I thought it would be fun to create a hot air balloon picture and also use the color wheel as our inspiration. So let's get started. First, have your paper tall like this. We call this portrait mode and you need your pencil. And what we're going to be doing is drawing our hot air balloon kind of in the middle of our paper right here. So starting right about here, I'm going to draw a big curved shape, almost like an egg shape, but not a complete egg shape. So I'm gonna draw a curve, and I'm gonna come back around like this. And if a shape doesn't look quite right, you can always erase and fix any spots. I like to draw lightly so that if I do make a mistake, I can fix it with my eraser. All right, so then we're going to draw a line straight across for our the bottom of our hot air balloon. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the colorful part of our hot air balloon. And so using the color wheel as our inspiration, we're gonna be creating a color wheel on our hot air balloon. So right about in the middle, I'm gonna make a dot. And we're going to have six colors in our color wheel. So that means we need to make six sections. So to do that, we are going to draw five lines. So I'm gonna start right about here. I'm gonna draw from the dot to the edge of my balloon and then from the dot here. So I've left some space. Now I have my first section. That was two lines. I have to draw three more. Here's my next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're going to draw the basket part of the um, hot air balloon. So the basket hangs down below the hot air balloon. So we're going to draw two lines down like this. That's bothering me, I'm gonna erase it. <laughs> and then a line across. And then we're going to make the basket. Draw two more lines down and a line across. And we're gonna make this look like a woven basket. So now I'm going to draw diagonal lines like this, going one way, and diagonal lines going the other way. So that's the basket of our hot air balloon. And the next step is we're going to, if you want to draw a person in the basket, you can. I'm just gonna draw a head, neck and shoulders. If you wanna have the person waving, you can draw a little arm, a little hand, you could draw a face. You can be smiling. If you wanna put hair on them, you can, like that. I'm gonna draw a line here for the other arm because that arm is down. There. Now, we can think about what is in the sky around our um, hot air balloon. If our hot air balloon is really high up in the sky, what might be up there? What would you see around you? Maybe clouds. So I'm gonna draw a few clouds in my sky like this. Some kiddos might want to draw a sun. If you want to draw a rainbow, you can. If you wanna show the land way down below, you could do that. So maybe the land is way down below, down here. It's up to you. So now I have got my picture drawn. The next step is going to be to trace your pencil lines. You could use a black marker or you could use a Sharpie. Either one, that's up to you. 
All right, the next step is tracing your pencil lines with that black Sharpie or pen or marker or crayon. So I have finished tracing my pencil lines with my Sharpie. I also drew another little balloon that's a lot smaller. Do you think it's a lot smaller or do you think it might be farther away? Uh, I thought that would be a fun thing to add. And if you want to draw birds flying in the sky, you can certainly do that if you want to. What we're going to do next is begin to color. So gather your coloring materials. You could use crayons, you could use markers, you could use watercolors, or you can combine those things. Okay, we're ready to get started on our color wheel hot air balloon. We're going to start here on our hot air balloon to color or paint first, and I'm gonna use paint. Now, if we look back again at our color wheel, we'll see that yellow is on the top. So I am going to take my yellow and I'm going to paint it in yellow right here at the top. And what we're going to do here is we're actually going to paint the primary colors or color the primary colors first. So I've painted that and I'm gonna skip this one because this will not be a primary color. That will be a secondary color and I'm going to paint this area blue, which is another primary color. Now, there's lots of different types of blue. You could, I have on my, my uh, paint set here, I have this sort of sky blue and I have this blue blue. For this, I'm going to actually use the blue blue, but you get to choose which type of blue you wanna use. As long as it doesn't look too purple or too green, you need to make that choice for yourself. So I'm just going to skip this section, so I'm not going to paint anything here. And then I'm gonna paint in this section blue, like this. You could paint, you could color, you could do a combination. I am going to do watercolors for my hot air balloons, but I'm going to use crayons for my background. So if I've gone yellow and I've skipped one, and I've gone blue, I'm gonna skip one. What's our other primary color? Do you remember it? I hope you remember it. If you said red, you are correct. So make sure your brush is clean. I don't think my brush was super clean, so I gotta clean out my, my uh, red. There we go, that looks a lot better. And then I can paint this section just like this. So those are the primary colors. And the next step is painting in or coloring in the other sections. Do you remember what those colors are called? They are called the secondary colors. And the secondary colors happen when you mix two primary colors together. Today, we are not going to mix two primary colors together. We are just going to use that color that is made when you mix them. So if I take yellow and blue and I mix them, what color would you get? Do you remember? If you said green, you are correct. So you may paint or color that area green and make sure if you're using watercolors that that paintbrush is super duper clean before you stick it in the new color. So I'm gonna be very careful along here because I wanna make sure that my colors do not blend. I don't want the yellow mixing into the green and I don't want the blue mixing into the green so I have to be really careful right here. There. Now if that happens and they blend a little, that's not the end of the world, is it? It's totally okay. All right, so my brush is nice and clean and I'm ready to do my next secondary color. So if I look at blue and red, what two color or what color do I get when I mix those two together? Do you remember what that color is? 
if you said purple, you are correct. So make sure you find purple. Try to avoid like magenta as your purple because that's not really purple. It's a kind of a pink, isn't it? So I am going to paint in this section purple. If you don't want to use watercolors, you can use markers or crayons, whatever material you have that you wanna color with. So that section is purple. We have one more secondary color left. Do you guys remember what the secondary colors are or color is that we're missing? If you said orange, you are correct. So when you mix yellow and red, you get orange. So I'm gonna paint that area orange. I'm being really careful in the middle here because sometimes if all of those colors are touching, and we're not careful, you could end up making brown when you mix all of those colors up. Did you know that? That's what happens. You can experiment later on another piece of paper if you wanna see what happens when you mix the primary colors together. You will find that you get an interesting color. All right, so I have painted my hot air balloon using the color wheel. And what I can do now is start to paint the basket, I could color my person. I might not paint my person, and the reason why that is is that she's so tiny that I think she would end up turning into a blob if I painted her, so I am not going to paint my person. I will color her probably with markers or crayons. I'm gonna paint this other basket right here because I already have the brown paint on my brush. And the other, hot air balloon, I'm just gonna paint in whatever colors I want. Maybe I'll use this bright blue. I could have used this blue in my color wheel, but that would have been fine. But I chose to use that regular blue. Hmm, I think maybe I'll make this part yellow. Now, watch what happens when the colors touch. You'll see something happening here. So just be careful. If you don't mind that, you can try it out. But if you don't want the colors to mix, be a little more careful. It kind of looks cool right there. If that happens to you, that's okay. If something happens and paint goes where you don't want it, you can take a paper towel or a napkin or a tissue and you can dab that and get that paint off and then repaint it if you would like to. So the next step is I'm going to be coloring my background. All right, so I am just coloring in the person in the basket using markers because these have a nice point on them. But you could use crayons, colored pencils, whatever works for you. So now I'm going to begin to color in all the space around my hot air balloons. And I'm gonna start with the ground down here. So I'm going to use a couple of different colors of green. And I'm just going to start off by coloring just like this. And I'm making mine just over sort of a very open area. If you wanna draw houses down here, you could draw houses. If you wanna draw trees, you could draw trees. I am just keeping it simple with the ground. And I'm using this other color of green to give it a little more texture because it's more interesting to have more than one color on something like this. So now I've got my ground. I can start to do my sky. I'm gonna color around my um, clouds, and um, so I'm just gonna take my time, and you can watch this as I speed it up.
I have finished my hot air balloon color wheel and I wanted to just show you the finished one. It's still drying and you can see where things are starting to blend in, but that's okay. And I wanted to point out that when you do a sky around your hot air balloon that your colors don't have to be all the same. They can be um, blended. I made mine sort of like a sunrise or a sunset. So I started off with sort of yellows and oranges and pinks and then I built up towards blue and sort of a purple. So um, you don't have to do just a plain blue sky and it doesn't also have to be colored solid. But if you color in all one direction, it makes it look a little neater. So I hope you have fun making your amazing color wheel hot air balloons.